Hey, busy crafters. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're returning. Today we are going to do an Easter video. And so this is the cross that we're going to make. And we are going to use that paper. I got it for Christmas um, a long time ago. We're going to use that risen sign as well as that small cross. And then we're going to use five of those little house um, frame things that you get from the Dollar Tree. So we start off by taking off all the stickers on them, of course and flip them out or flip them over um these do come in white as well as the black chalkboard or the white one is the um dry erase so i go ahead and use wood glue as well as hot glue both of them are gorilla and i just go ahead and start gluing them down i put wood glue in the middle and then on either side of the wood glue i put the gorilla hot glue and then we just go ahead and glue them down like that and this is an Easter video, so that's why we're going to be doing the risen cross, you know, because our Lord and Savior has risen. And yeah, and he's alive in the world today. So we're going to continue doing that, just like that. Um, this, they were a little bit wonky, but the cross is still holding up very nicely. And yeah, everything turned out great. It's still hanging up. Um, actually, it's still it's standing up right now. Um, so yeah, and then the last piece goes down there just like that. I was going to plan on doing a little bit more to this cross, but I kind of like the simplicity of it. So I did not add anything else to it except for what you see now. So then we go ahead and get this cross that we also got from the Dollar Tree. And I cover it with that black and white paper. And... Yeah, so I go ahead and just cut out that paper. That paper I got for Christmas a long time ago, um, like a long time ago, I don't even remember who gave it to me, probably one of the kids. I think my oldest one. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> but I could just go ahead and Mod Podge that cross and when I let it dry completely. Um, I like the method of it drying and then, you know, reactivating it with a mini press. But then we're going to go to... Uh, Tongue tied there. So we're going to go ahead and put um, from macrame cord and brown that I got from Amazon. And I'm just going to go ahead and put a loop on the back of the cross. And then now that that's dried, I'm going to take that paper, put it down. Of course, you need um, the parchment paper as well. And then we're just going to heat, re reactivate the Mod Podge by heating it up with the mini press. This method is great. There's no wrinkles. There's no tearing there's no nothing so then i just go ahead and cut out the access and then put my finger sander to the test or to the job and then go ahead and clean up the edges for all everybody who's been praying for my mom i thank you guys so much um friday she was able to come home and we're just praying to God that the bleeding doesn't come back and that she's able to you know battle the cancer from home and yeah, so I appreciate every single one of you guys for your prayers. Um, the Lord is hearing it and he is working. I have seen him through this entire process of finding out when my mom had cancer. And I just really appreciate every single one of you guys. So thank you. I did use pop brand paint from Joann's. And I just painted around the cross because we want to have a finished look. So then we're just going to go ahead and glue... Yeah, first we get beads because um, it was kind of wobbly. Like it was not, it would, it, I, I was fearing that the cross would have fallen off of the big cross. So what I did is um, the edges were still wet. So I had to dry them up a little bit. I took two beads. I don't know the size of these beads, but they're, they're pretty large. And you see me putting them one on the top of the cross, one on the bottom of the cross, as well as the two on the side of the cross. The two on the sides... You don't really have to do that because they did not touch down on the black part of the larger cross. So you can just skip that step altogether. But the front or the top and the bottom, it, it worked out perfectly. So I just put glue on the top, the middle, and the bottom. And then I just go ahead and held, held it down there until it set. So now the risen, I did not have to paint it. It came from Hobby Lobby. And... Yeah, it came white as well. So I didn't paint it. And then there is the end product. So I was going to add flowers to it, but I think it was just going to make it too busy. 
So then there is the end product right there. Um, made out of house frames and wooden cross. And now we have a large cross. This cross is actually quite large. <laughs> it's not too shabby. Not too shabby. But um, I like the way it turned out. It's, simpl it's simple, and but it gets the message across. So I want to take the moment to thank every single one of my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. So now on to DIY number two. With this one, the flower one, I like it, but I think it kind of drowned out a little bit. So I went and got those two from the Dollar Tree. Of course, one is a bunny and one is a tulip. Everybody knows the tulips are the best flower in the entire world. That's just my opinion, guys. I love tulips so much. So I go ahead and start off by taking off the little bunny rabbit as well as the tulip. And you can see that there is missing a half bead on the tulip right there at the bottom. Um, so seeing the video now, I realize that it's not lost somewhere in my craft room. And I have not gone crazy. Not totally yet, but we're good. So then I just go ahead and take my folk art um, chalk paint in white and I just give the whole thing, I think I think it's just one coat because I was going to distress it anyways. And chalk paint is pretty um, thick, so you don't really have to do more than that. So then here we're going to do is we're going to Mod Podge the um, flower and the bunny rabbit. Um... The paper that I chose for the flower was really pretty as a whole, but as soon as I cut it down, it it kind of drowned out. So that's the only issue that I had with the flower. And so now I'm just going to go ahead and paint the other sign. So now that the bunny rabbit and the tulip have been dried, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out the paper. I chose the paper for the tulip because it has the same lavender color as the bunny rabbit one. But, um... Yeah, so I just go ahead and put them on there and then do that method of reactivating the Mod Podge with the heat press. And yeah, the rabbit one came out super adorable. I really, really like the way the rabbit came out. Um, I should have either done the same paper on the tulip, but I didn't. So with crafting, we, we learn. Um, and we figure out what works, what doesn't work. And that way we know until the, for the next time. So then I wanted to give it a little bit more pop. So I took my Hello Hobby Antique Wax. And I just gave it, you know, that one I got really heavy on that you're seeing now. So I decided to go back and get heavy on the other one. And yeah, I did replace that half bead because I do have half beads of my own. So that it was the perfect size and it turns out great. So then I just go ahead and says, okay, this is a little too heavy handed. What the heck is going on? And that's when I grab the folk art and then just with the same brush, lightly put it in the, you know, put it in there, kind of tone it down a little bit. The tulip one, I didn't mind it being so heavy handed because you can see it kind of drowns out. So I don't know. So there's the little bunny rabbit. Um, it's a lavender bunny rabbit with little golden bunny rabbits all over it. So it has a shine to it as well. And there is that. So now we get to decorate. So I got those um, carrots from the Dollar Tree as well. I got those carrots a while ago. And then I just recently bought more carrots. Because, you know, we're going to be doing more spring, more Eastery stuff. And so we kind of need carrots. We kind of need bunny rabbits. And then my sister gave me that bushel of um, flowers. And it says Ashland on it. So that tells me it came from Michael's. So I just put a little bit, um, I just put one little purple flower. Well, actually, it's a large purple flower in the middle between the two carrots. And then I just put some little white flowers in there to give it a little bit of a pop. And then the ribbon that I used is a pink ribbon that I did a shoestring bow on it. And then I put it around the bunny's neck, I believe. Yeah, I put it around the bunny's neck. And then... I use that same pink ribbon, uh, I think it's satin ribbon, that I got from, it's somewhere around here, who knows, I think I got it from uh, Hobby Lobby, and then that little bow needed something, so I just took a little pink gem, and, no, purple gem, it was going to be pink, but the rabbit's purple, 
So I put a little purple gem in the middle of that bow. And then we added, well, I added. <clears throat> so there's, there's the little ribbon. That's going to be for our hanger. And I measured two of them out to be the same. So that way both pictures are the same length. And then I just tie it. I tie it up and then I just, you know, put a loop through it. And then after that, I put a little small purple flower that matches the big flower almost to a T in there to hide the hole. And there is the little bunny rabbit. Well, you kind of seen it a little bit. Yeah. There is going to be an end reveal. So then I take this other ribbon. That's a spring ribbon that I got from somewhere. A store. It was on sale for 99 cents. But it's got like little spring flowers. It's really cute. And I put it on the flower. And then that too gets, I think, a purple gem on that as well. Because I'm trying to bring the flower out. Like you can see the flower is drowned out. So learn from my mistakes. Pick a bold color. But then the little purple flowers that I used on the bunny rabbit, they came in this. So I just cut off a little sprig of each one and then put them around the bottom like taking the place of the carrots. This one's not going to get carrots. It's just going to get flowers. And then I use that little one because the paper that I used has that like salmon orangey color in it. So I was trying to bring it out, but it didn't really work all that well. <laughs> and then I used little white baby breasts to go around the, the salmon colored flower right there. And then once again, I use the ribbon to make the little loop. And then the same little flower goes on the top. And then this one is coming to an end. And I don't know why I kept all this in. I don't know. <laughs> so I hope you guys are having a wonderful Sunday. And uh, yeah, may your week ahead of you guys be blessed. So this is where I'm trying to really bring out that flower. It it didn't work, but I tried. So now I know. And now you guys know. So I just go ahead and try to distress the edges of the flower. But it is what it is. It still turned out cute. Like, especially if you're, like, right up on it. You can tell the pattern. But other than that, it's, it's okay. Maybe I should have, like, put beads behind it and made it, like, pop out a little bit. Who knows? So then there is the end product. There is my bunny rabbit sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then above it, I think it's above it. Yes. And then above it is the flower sign. See, like right there you could tell, like it's not as drowned out, but it is what it is. <laughs> so go ahead and follow me on all my social medias. The, the, the links to them will be in the description box below. Be sure to check out my Etsy. And remember to use the word BUSY, all capitals, BUSY24, to get an additional 10% off. So now we're going to move on to this. Now, I wanted them to face each other, but I kind of got lazy and did not want to paint the back. So I got those two canvas bunny rabbits from, the, from Hobby Lobby. It was last year when I got them, and they were like 90% off. So they were like next to nothing. I also got those two, um, well, there's going to be two of them, but I got the napkins, both of them, also from Walmart. And they are the Pioneer Woman brand. There is actually a recipe on the side right there that you could see. The problem is, is the recipe ran and you really can't read it very well. So we're going to Mod Podge to Canvas. This is a canvas bunny. Um, the front side is canvas and the back side is not. I was going to paint the back side of one of the bunnies, but decided I really didn't want to do that. So they're going to be, you know, facing not each other, but the same direction. So I just go ahead and use my Mod Podge and then I am just Mod Podging it down. The, this method, it kind of, it started to tear a little bit and it bubbled up. But then I just used the Mod Podge on it and or the uh, the heat press on it and it turned out great. So, yep, I was I don't do this a lot, not, you know, but um, I was kind of curious on if it would work on canvas and it does. 
So if you guys didn't know that, you know, decoupaging on canvas, if it would work or not, it does work. It worked for me. I'm amateur at this. So <laughs> I was a bit like, yeah, I was, I was a bit happy with that. So then, of course, we're just going to do Franken Bunny here. And I have to cut pieces just to make it, see like right there, that little tiny piece. It's like, oh my goodness. So yeah, and then I just go ahead and paint. And this is where it started to bubble up a little bit. I think I used a little bit too much Mod Podge probably. So it started to bubble up a little bit and tear by the bunny's nose. But after I let it dry, or actually, did I let it dry? Yeah, I think I did because I, I knew it was been a disaster. So after I let it dry, I just like ironed it out a little bit with that. No, that's what I did. The Kathy Joe method. Yeah, that method works amazing. So I learned that from Kathy Joe. I've been following Kathy Joe for the longest time for years now. And yeah, so she, she taught me that. Thank you, Kathy Joe. Appreciate it. <laughs> And here I am doing the other bunny. Now, this napkin is the, the longer, smaller napkin. And so it, too, has a recipe on it. Unfortunately, I was going to do something with the recipes, but you really can't read the recipes because it kind of ran together. But it is a Pioneer Woman napkin. And so I bet you if you can go on to the uh, her website or whatever, she probably has the recipes there. And the recipes for this napkin is for a lemon poppy seed waffles. Wow, this recipe is actually... Okay, maybe I'll do something because that recipe is actually not ran together like the last couple ones. And then the big recipe, the first rabbit, that recipe is for a lemon lime pound cake. Yeah, that one is all ran together. So, it's Pioneer Woman, and you can probably find those recipes on her website or whatever, in one of her books. So then once again, we're just going to go ahead and do that. So now I just take my finger sander, and I'm just sanding it all, all around. It was a little hard to get in between the bunnies, and I couldn't find my emery board. See, the craft room is a disaster. You can't find anything. You clean, and it's not a disaster, and you still can't find anything. So, you kind of a lose-lose situation <laughs> well I guess a win-lose I get uh stressed out if uh things are not in their place or kind of messy but it is what it is so then my son my my youngest son got me those for Christmas those two small uh boards he asked me what I wanted for Christmas I told him to just go to um the Dollar Tree and get me wood wood cutouts wood pieces I don't care and that's exactly what he did. So he got me those and I go ahead and paint the top of them with one coat and then the sides of them with one coat. No, the, the top were two coats, but you're not really going to see the top anyways. And then the um, sides of them were just one coat because we're going to wrap it in ribbon. So then I used Jenga blocks to keep the bunny held up. Uh, that bunny got a little ribbon around its neck. And then I used the Jenga blocks, well, the tumbling tower blocks from the Dollar Tree. And then, oh yeah, I did a little bow for that one. And now we're just going to dovetail it. The other bunny didn't get it. The other bunny got something different on their board. I put feet on one and the other one is, doesn't have feet. So the one that we're making now doesn't have the feet on the bottom to lift it up. And so now we're just going to go ahead and put a little gem a little pink gem on it that I got from Michael's years ago. And now we're just going to go ahead and glue the bunny down to the Jenga blocks. And then we're going to put a Jenga block in the top or in the front, not the top. That'd be a little weird. A Jenga block just hanging out on the bunny's ear. <laughs> no, thank you. So then the Jenga block goes or the tumbling tower block goes on the front so the bunny doesn't wobble back and forth. And then now this is where I was like, oh, yeah, the ribbon. Dirt. So I had to do this. It would probably be easier if you did all this before you actually put the bunny on. But, you know, you learn. So that's what we're doing. We're learning while we're crafting. So it's a win-win situation there. So then, yeah, I just go ahead with the same ribbon that the bunny is wearing. I go ahead and put it all the way around it. And 
tie it off in the back. Well, not tie it off, but glue it off in the back so that way you're not really going to see it. I didn't decorate the back because, you know, you don't expect people to come in and look at the back of the stuff, especially if it's on a mantle or a shelf or whatever. You're not really going to see it. So here comes the flowers again that my sister gave me. I put three of them on this rabbit and then I just decorated it up. This one also gets carrots from the Dollar Tree and other little flowers. And so now you're just going to sit here and watch the back of this bunny while I... Um, Decorate the front of the bunny. I do have to figure out, you know, angles, camera angles or whatever. Um, yeah, I'm still kind of learning. I'm still new to this. I have had some help from other creators and I appreciate every single one of them giving me tips and suggestions and everything like that. They are absolutely amazing. And so here's these little carrots, you know. Rabbits love carrots. Where I live, we have wild rabbits running around here. It's probably why another reason is I don't have a, you know, vegetable garden. Because not only do I have to fight for it with the deer, but the rabbits as well. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the day where I don't have to fight for the harvest. <laughs> so, yeah. Gophers, deers, rabbits, chipmunks. Yeah, they, they and birds. Yeah, they, they get to it before I get to it. They actually get to it before it's actually even done. So, you know, joke's on them. But anyways, so yeah, we're just going to continue watching me do that. And these turned out adorable. I really like them. Um, I'm actually thinking about going back and just putting feet on the other ones. So there's that rabbit. And now we're going to do the other rabbit. I think I make you watch me do the other rabbit. Oh, but first before that, I go ahead and put the same gems that he's wearing on his bow. I put the same gems down, but different colors. I think that's pink in the middle, and then there's two of the green on the sides of it. And then the other rabbit gets, yeah, it's purple in the middle. And then, of course, we're going to do the same thing for this rabbit. But here we are. We have these little, um, they look like barrels that I got from Hobby Lobby. I decided to try to take the sticker off and then decided, uh, who cares? You know, it's at the bottom. Someone's going to look at it. No, I did not pay $1.25 for all this. <laughs> Just for that board. But anyways, we go ahead and put the barrels on. I keep the barrels in their natural color. Um, I wanted to get a video out, so I didn't do the painting on the bottom of it. The barrels were actually an afterthought. So that's probably another reason why. is because I was like, oh, this one could have feet. So before I attach the bunny, I go ahead and wrap it in that really pretty ribbon that I got on sale for 99 cents. It is, it came in three yards and it's a five eighths inch by three yards. So it was perfect for the, the sides of this wooden board from the Dollar Tree. And then we're going to go ahead and just, you know, continue watching it. It's probably why this video is a little bit longer than normal. Yeah, my head has kind of been in the clouds, guys. And yeah. So now we're going to go ahead and put this bunny on. This bunny's flowers are going to be just a little bit different. This one's going to also have more carrots than the last one. Um, which turns out pretty cute anyways. And it's going to have the same flowers, but not like this bunny gets one of those flowers. And a lot more of like the coral color. I think that's what it is. Coral, not salmon. Salmon, coral, it, it's all the same. It comes from the ocean. So, um, yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and just glue down some carrots. Um, I believe this bunny gets six carrots. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah. And then those little flowers are kind of... They, I don't know what they're called, but uh, they have the same colors and everything like that in there. So this this rabbit comes out just a little bit different, but it's cute. And yeah, I'm thinking of going back and putting feet on the other rabbit just because that way it's elevated. You could have these as a pair. You could have them separate, you know, so that's a that's a good thing. So, yeah, this is my take on Easter. 
And we're just going to sit here and watch it. I'm going to do a better job on the next one with the angles, especially if it's um, a floral thing where, you know, you're, I'm decorating it and you guys are just looking at the back. So, yeah. And. Yeah. You might want to go get yourself a snack or uh, a drink. And use the restroom or something because this might be a while. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I try not to have, like, really long videos because I know people have things to do. And so, yeah, I edited this really late at night one time. And, yeah. Well, I hope your Sunday was happy. I'm, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful week ahead of you guys. And may the Lord's blessing fall upon every single one of you guys. And are we almost done? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Yeah, this is where I was like, ah, it's missing something. And that's when I decided to put the last carrot in because it really did it. And the carrot was what needed what it needed. So now we're just going ahead and try to finish up whatever it is that, you know, we're working on. But this one turned out really cute. I think this one is my favorite one because it's elevated a little bit more. And now we're just going to go ahead and put the gems on. I did a different color for the gems. So they're they're not really matching. So like the, the first one has purple with blue. And I think this one is... Um, I think it has all of the colors on it, to tell you the truth. Yeah, there's me, you know, having to hold it down. And there is the end product for that one. It turned out cute. These ones I like really, really like. So there is the end product on this one. Do you think I should add feet to that one? Because I'm thinking I might. I'm not sure. Leave it in the comments and below. And then the only problem is, is that there was a little line from the Franken Bunny. I think that was the Franken Bunny. Who knows, I'll have to go back and look. But there's the end product, and let me know what you think. And, yeah. I think they turned out adorable. I really like the way they turned out. So here's the final reveal with everything together. My old chicken is pointing you to that, you know, area. And there it is. There is my Easter springy video for you guys. Um... I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for watching, for clicking on this video. If you like what you've seen, remember to subscribe. It really helps my channel out. Like, share, comment as well. I do get back to the comments. And I will go ahead and see you on the next one. So thank you so much. And I pray that you guys have a blessed week um, coming up. Um, happy Sunday to you guys. And thank you so much for everything you do. I'm going to continue making you watch, you know, all of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. My editing skills will be a little bit better, you know, the next one. So, God bless every single one of you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.